This has probably happened to all of us at least once. You get an email that really should have been sent to your whole team, but it came just to you. Rather than forwarding the email and adding everyone to the message, you have the option to send the email to Teams and keep the whole conversation in one place. Let's take a look at how the Share to Teams feature works. In this example, Nestor sent me an email with the survey results for the April M365 webinars. In the message, he says that each instructor needs to follow up on the comments from their sessions. However, I'm the only one Nestor sent the email to. To share this message to Teams from the Outlook web app, I can click on the Share to Teams icon on the right side of the screen next to the Like button. If you don't see the icon there, click the three dots and select Share to Teams from the menu. If you happen to be using the Outlook desktop app, it is on the home ribbon as well as next to the forward button within the message itself. After I click share to teams, a dialog box will show up. Now in the Microsoft documentation, it says that you can share with individual people and create a chat message directly in teams, or you should be able to share to any channel for any team that you belong to. However, my coworkers and I have noticed that if you type in the name of a team, the only channel that appears is the general channel. Hopefully Microsoft will fix this and the feature will begin to work as it's designed to. But in the meantime, I found a workaround. I noticed that if you post a message in the channel where you want the email to go to, it will show up in the recent locations. So in this case, I want the survey results to go to the channel of the same name in my webinar team. And now we see that the share to location is M365 webinars survey results channel. If you scroll through this next box, you will see everything from the email has been attached, but I also have the option to put my own message in the top as well. In this example, I want to make sure everybody pays attention to the task that was assigned in the email. Notice this check mark here at the bottom of the screen that says include attachments. If the email has an attachment, you can automatically include it or remove them if it makes sense for your scenario. In this demonstration, we want to keep the attachment because I want everybody to look at the Excel file that Nestor sent me. And all I have to do is click share. You get a confirmation message letting you know that the email is on its way to Teams. I have navigated to Teams and you can see that we are in the M365 webinars team in the survey results channel. Here you can see a thread that was created by the Outlook message with my note to the team as well as all of the details of Nestor's original email to include the attachment at the bottom of the message. You can click on the attachment and begin working on the file. But one tip that I'd like to remind you of is that any time that you create a message in Teams that has an attachment to it, that attachment is automatically stored in the Files tab. And as you can see, here is the April 2022 survey results Excel file that I sent over with the original email message. As a bonus tip, I wanted to show you that it's possible to send messages from Teams right back to Outlook. I use this option all the time when I want to get clarification on something before I answer in Teams and maybe create chaos or confusion. So if you hover over the message, you will see three dots. And when you click on that, there will be an option to share to Outlook. A floating Outlook dialog box will appear that contains the Microsoft Teams message. All you need to do is type in the name of the person you want to send the message to. And if you want to, you can provide your own message in the body of the email as well, which I recommend because this lets people know why you're sending them a copy of a Microsoft Teams message. After you're done, just click send and all of that information is going to show up in the inbox of the person you sent the message to. If you wanna see more tips and tricks about Microsoft Teams, please see the playlist on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.